What up guys, I'm Phasma Jack. And sorry there hasn't been a video in so long, I've literally just finished doing a 60 hour week of work, so I'm, I was shattered. Um, before that I was kind of ill, and it was during, you know, there's been fucking New Year's and all that and Christmas, so I haven't really had loads of time, and I'm really sorry about that. But I'm back, hopefully back on the bandwagon now. I, I guess I was kind of also looking for stuff to play, but a good friend of mine like recommended this one. He said it, it's a pretty good custom story, so I'm going to check it out. Well, I. I know, he's not going to lie to me, so it's going to be a sound one, yeah. Uh, let's go for this. Baron Raymond Reynolds was a man of power and was greatly admired by his folks. He was considered one of the mightiest barons of all time, which had caused inhabitants from several nearby villages to migrate within his field of power. A few weeks ago, Raymond suddenly vanished without a trace. Rumors got passed around, even horror stories. Some people claim he was murdered by evil monsters. But that is just plain nonsense to scare children, right? Others claimed he developed a severe depression after his mother's passing during the plague and chose to take his own life. If that was the case, the servants of the castle would ha had already found him and reported it to the governor. Seeing that nobody has seen or heard anything of the servants, though, is awfully odd. Sorry, I'm fucking up my speech because I can't read fast enough. What has actually happened to the Baron? Let's start and find out. Ah! Uh -uh. Right, so yeah, uh, yeah, but I hope you guys are all doing sound. Cheers for sticking with me and staying subscribed and that. I, I honestly don't know how you guys pull through a bit and deal with me, but thank you ever so much. I honestly love you, all of you, to fucking pieces. I'm not controlling it, okay. Sorry if the sound from my microphone's a little weird as well. It's um, been one of those difficult ones to control. Because it used to be like, barely sensitive at all me and Callum used to have to record together and like we used to have to lean forward to speak to it so you could hear us both but now for some reason I got my new PC and it's ridiculously fucking sensitive oh I'm controlling now Duh. well hey what's in here this place looks kind of spacey a rock What? What did I write down? Well, it wasn't a note. It wasn't a diary. It must be a memento. There's an inscription on the floor the words stone, pipe, and key. Oh, I'm going to leave the stone there so I don't lose it. Stone, pipe, and key. Maybe I hit the pipe with the stone. Who the fuck is ringing me? Alright, guys, it's my boss. Give me two seconds. Sorry about that guys, that was uh, my boss, and he's an absolute legend, he's a sound guy, so, you know, because it's like the shop I work at, usually the days um, I'm working, he's not working, then he works the other days, because we're both like uh, doing, I'm the assistant manager and he's the manager and that, I'll get back on topic anyway now, I, I probably shouldn't like, go too far off. 14th of May, 1649. It's got voice acting. My name is Bradley Bowden. And I'm writing this diary in hope that I can unravel the rumors that are lurking around this small village. Our Baron, Raymond Renault, was once the most powerful man in this region. And now people claim he is dead. It came to us like nothing. My God. We refuse to believe such absurd things when no proper investigation has been made. I mean, just because we haven't heard from him in ages does not mean he's dead, does it? I mean, I can still hear something down there. I formed a group of talented investigators who share the same ambitions as I do, so we can split up into small groups and enhance the pace. We shall begin our departure towards the castle tonight, and find out if anyone at all is still alive down there. Okay, okay. Yeah. My boss is the most soundest guy I've ever had as a boss. He's, he's like a friend to me. He's absolutely awesome. What's back here? Well, that's locked. Hey, wait, pipe. It said pipe, didn't it? Right, I'm gonna investigate up here first before I do anything else. Looks like there might not be much up here. I feel like I can hear breathing, which is kind of creepy. Okay, let's go. I'm so glad to actually be playing an Amnesia Custom Story again. I feel like I haven't played one in a fucking long time. Right, stone. Stone uh, destroys pipe. 
Yes! I knew it! That was a good puzzle. I enjoyed that. It wasn't too hard. It wasn't... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was sound. Key. Door. Open. I never got to check out what was down that other way. I feel like I may have miss missed out on something. I'm gonna... Hold on. I might have missed out on a note or... Let's check what's down here. Well, okay. Apparently we can't go that way. Sorry guys, that's uh... That's all I can do for ya. Oh well, invisible walls, eh? Just can't... They're un invincible. All you can do is run away from invisible walls. So for here. Nothing, just a... Uh, just a car. Okay, okay. There's something really trippy looking over there. What is that noise? You guys don't hear it, but... I have this really annoying constant background noise for whenever I start recording with my camera for some reason it just has this it's like a really tiny beeping it's not nearly as loud as the game but it, it's always there and it's really annoying fuck okay ah oh, now tree blocking my path don't have a lantern on this one yet so that'll be something to look forward to Nothing there. Nothing here, just a big old eagle. That's locked as well. Cool. Well, haven't I explored? I haven't gone in there yet, or near this uh, crazy, whatchamacallit, it looks kind of how I'd picture a teleporter would look in real life. But... The barn is large! Farmers don't want me getting at their shit. Who's messaging me? My boss is texting me. That guy loves me. He can't get enough. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I don't want to get too distracted. Oh, sound. Count Raymond told us that we could stay here as long as we didn't touch anything outside of, of our houses. The old barn was entirely out of question, apparently. I understand that he does not like us snooping around, but he was unusually persistent about it. I shall try to investigate. If I have the guts, he seems to have his eyes elsewhere. Okay. Ah, uh, no, don't trip out. I've got some oil. I just... Fuel for lantern. I don't have the lantern yet, though. I suppose that will come in in a bit. Really hope I didn't miss it, like a dumbass. Well, the teleporter doesn't working. Then I'm stuck. Ah, oh, guys, I'm a fucking idiot. Right, it's the spades. It's the fucking spades. Because it says he wouldn't let them touch anything outside the houses. And there was that other spade. It sounded like something got unlocked. Was that the barn? Right, okay, that's what it was. It was the shovels. There was, uh, there's one outside this house, there's one outside that house, and there's one outside that house. I thought that first one was a fuck up. I, I didn't know what happened, but. It didn't take me too long, really. So, what's, uh. Why doesn't he want people chilling in the barn? In the smokehouse. Right, we got that thing. We still don't have a lantern yet. Bollocks. Okay, right, let's just... Let's stop. Jack, stop fucking about and turn the damn thing. The cosmos is erupting! Okay, sounds like I turned on that uh, portal thing, so let's go check that shit out. I see lights. Oh. Geronimo. Ah, progress. The Baron was a great leader to those who knew him. Bypassers were intimidated by his fierce appearance and kept their distance. Okay, so this Baron sounds like a bit of a badass. Where the fuck am I? This is pretty interesting so far. 
Alright, a whole bunch of levers. Let's not fuck this up. Seems like there's some kind of manual, but there are only but there are only drawings. You Alright, so it's the pillar formation. Up, down, down, up. So up down up. Fuck. Okay, down up. Ah, I got rid of the uh, barrier of death that probably would have electrocuted me. Oh, oh cool. This is like this is like playing. Um, well, no, it's not like playing Portal. It's not at all like playing Portal. Forget that. Don't let me chat shit. Due to the impressive size of Cradle Castle, Castle, find your way through the hallways. When I sent the finding your way through. I keep fucking up my sentences, yo. I don't know how to say this shit. I also do swear a lot, guys. I do apologize for that. It's, um, being British, it's in your blood. No, it's not. It's just me and the way I've grown up swearing all the time. It's my, it's a problem, and I want to get past it, but it's really, really hard. It's really hard. <laughs> Plus, my friends uh, say the C word like they just discovered the S word when you're young and it's really funny to say and so I'm gonna really try hard not to say that one because that is the that's bad let's check out this door I don't know if it goes anywhere locked okay that's fine that's fine with me is that a lever no it's a candle hello knights wow this place is dark as oh lantern Fuel. Ah, well, um, fuck that. I just swore again, as you do. Let's check out this room. Uh, it appears. The museum is malfunctioning. Probably because it needs another wheel. Am I going to do that? And it's not going to work. The bridge cannot be raised unless the machine is running. Okay. Alright, alright, right. So we, we'll come back here. We'll come back. Let's discover some other shit for now. I don't want to use all my lanterns straight away because I'm usually a bit of a doofus with it. Because I'm like, I can't see anything. I'm like, I'll use all my lanterns. Fuck it. Alright, should we go upstairs? Let's go. This is eerie. This is really eerie. 15th of May, 1649. We arrived outside the castle at dawn. As we entered through the main gates, our eyes met with a vast and airy room. It fascinates me how a castle that hasn't been tended to for years is still in exceptional condition. The constructors of this castle must have used some kind of fortification method to strengthen the interior, rather than the roughed up exterior. Was there any actual purpose for this kind of hard work? So guys, I don't mean to be texting when I'm meant to be playing and listening to story. Uh... This looks... Cool. Oh yeah, that game I said, I bought off Steam, it was a DS game. <laughs> Fuck you! That, that was a good jump scare, stuff like that when something just... Oh, fuck you! Okay, that sounded like just a one-time thing. What was up here? There's nothing up here that I need. This whole thing was uh, a trap. The whole thing was a trap. It was just so this clock could scare the crap out of me. And I think I did get some oil actually. So it was kind of worthwhile, I suppose. Did I knock over that chair? I can't remember. I didn't hear a monster though. It sounded like the monster... Um, with all the chains around him. Oh, he smashed down the door. I didn't even know it was locked, to be honest. But okay. 
so I had to do that. It wasn't pointless after all. There's a knife there. There's also these freaky bastards who I absolutely hate. We'll come back to that. Hello, eagle covered in blood. You've been... I don't know. What do eagles do in their free time? Fly? Okay. Spiders. I was gonna say they're on an... Ah, oh, you motherfucker! Ouch, this looks like a spider trap. The spiders have a strong reaction to rust, which makes them explode. Ah, oh, I didn't even get to read it all. No strong reaction to rust makes them explode. I'll try throwing the old knife in the previous room at it. Okay. Fair enough. They're so eerie, man. Those statues. I hate them. Ah. Ah. Da. Ah, cool. For a minute there, I just thought I missed. Jack, don't use all your oil. I think all the statues in this game are eerie, but apart from the lion ones, because no one ever uses them to scare people, because I, I see how that would be really difficult. Those ones are pretty eerie, the angels, because when are statues of angels ever done a good thing? In Doctor Who, they started screwing people over and shit, and then um, in this one, sometimes they... Oh, actually, then again, I think I've played a couple custom stories where they seem to help you, but I don't... I never trust them. I think they're always out for my blood. Hello. Well, that's locked. Nah, I don't know why. You can't hum dubstep. <laughs> what the fuck? Don't fuck with me. Don't fuck with me. I'll bring your ass down to the ends. Oil. Could there be more though? No, I can't get through there. And I don't want to jump over there because I think I might get stuck. Unless I genuinely see an oil thing down there. No, don't do it. These statues are pretty eerie. Well, I'm not getting through there, so uh, let's head upstairs. This one has actually got chills going down my spine just because of the. It's eerie. And it's not like chucking like random jump scares at me. It, it's using it quite well with noise. Ah, oh, so the machine operating the bridge has broken down again, huh? Uh, I suspect it's the cog wheel again. Well, luckily, we have a spare one in the storage room close to the machine room. Let me just find the key first. That little kid, Ralph, is playing games with me again. Ralph, you little fuck. So, where be the key? Mansion quarters key. I don't think that's the same place, but what the hell is this? It's a pedestal. Which... Another noise jump scare, or what are we going for? Let's go up this way. It's got to be up this way somewhere. The mansion quarters. I don't know guys, I don't know. I, I don't, I just, I don't have all the answers. I don't, I really don't. I just saw something really weird, but I think that was my screen spinning out. I don't like this music, it is really eerie. and It's really good custom story so far though, it's, 
it's doing quite well to put fear into me. It might just be me though, because I um, haven't played horror games as much as I used to, so I'm being a bit of a bitch about it. I'm glad it's keeping me oiled up. Is there anything else in here? This I uh, nothing behind that one. Nothing under that, okay. Yep, fine, whatever. This place is big. And I don't like big places because I don't know, they they don't seem very linear and when I don't know where to go, I get scared. I'm really glad that's locked. What does it say? Wine cellar. I still gotta find the key so I can repair the damn machine. Hello? Oh, guys, soup's 16th up. 16th of May, 1649. We spent the whole day searching through the living quarters, but couldn't find the slightest clue of anything to do with the Baron. Tomorrow's goal is to search through the library in an attempt to find the blueprints of the castle. The Baron was very fond of architecture, so maybe, just maybe, there's a chance of the blueprints being there. The blueprints should reveal any hidden rooms or passages we might have missed, in case we're unable to find them in the main part of the library. Perhaps he keeps them in one of his precious rooms at the top floor. In order for us to reach them, though, we need to unlock the door at the top floor. Amy, one of the investigators, came across four odd-looking books made entirely out of stone. When she pulled one of them out, it started ticking. Shortly after, the book retracted back into its original spot, and the ticking subsided. We are going to pull all four books before the ticking ends to see what will happen. Okay. Stop using your lantern, you dumbass. You're in a room that's well lit enough. Okay, so that's what I've got to do next. I've got to find some room with the books so I can uh, make the books tick. Anyway, guys, I think I've been playing this for a decent amount of time, so I'm going to end part one here. I'm probably going to keep recording in a sec and keep going on to part two. But, yeah, thanks a lot for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoy my videos, and I'll keep making more. Sorry for the long wait again, guys. Hopefully, I'm back in the zone now, and I'll be making them more and more. Obviously, on days when I work, I can't make them, if, especially when I'm doing evening shift, because usually I get back. And then uh, my best mate, Jack, he's got... He's also called Jack. He, he's, he lives with me. He, he lives in the room right behind that camera but he's got work usually the next day after i do and he has to go to bed because he has to get up at like six in the morning and shit and i don't really have the i don't want to wake him up that's just unfair so yeah but you know you get the idea anyway thanks a lot for watching guys i'll see you all later peace